Hey guys, I'm back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very different kind of knife than you have seen on this channel before. This knife comes to me from someone on the channel who is a viewer, who is a helper, who is a friend. Alex Strauss has given me a lot of help making some decisions on some things we're going to do. He loves to mix it up with the trolls on the knife box video as much as I do. He's a really cool dude. I am a big time fan of Damascus steel. I just I love it. It is, when made properly anyway, it is amazingly good steel. Sturdy, long-lasting, and of course it just has a look that nothing else comes close to. So I bought this from him and uh, then I checked for the, the prices of it and he gave me a great deal. So I really appreciate him. So the single solitary shout out in this video is Alex Strauss. And there's some other stuff you're gonna see in this channel that comes from him too in the near future. So this is made by Knife King. Now, Knife King has, if you go on Amazon and check out them, their stuff, they have all different designs. Some of their designs are kind of copies, I found out, of uh, some, some big name stuff, but all in Damascus. All of their stuff is, is really beautiful work. Um, comes with an impressive leather sheath. I mean, has that real good leather smell, like you can't stop smelling it. It's really strong. And so, like I said, this is normally not the kind of thing that I would carry around. This, I don't know, have you guys ever seen Romancing the Stone or Jewel of the Nile or, or one of those old movies? This looks like one of those things that would be in that movie or something similar to it. Some jungle adventure movie, but it's a really beautiful knife and I'm really excited to have it. So I wanted to thank Alex and I wanted to get it on the channel and I wanted to test it out a little bit. So it is a solid piece, 200 layers of Damascus nickel and carbon steel. Take a look at the pattern in there. It's really, really beautiful. Big, thick micarta scales. All right, so my old big goon hands fits really nicely. The blade style is cleaverish, obviously, but I think that this would have a lot of use. It's got a very interesting choil there. Uh, you've got some grip where you need it. It's it's a it's a good knife. I've been carrying it around, just like carrying it around. I suppose you could use this for a less lethal self-defense option or to smash glass or whatever crazy ass animal comes up to you in the wild that you don't just want to hack to pieces. You know, one of the ways that you can check for a real Damascus blade, there are some companies that will print a Damascus print on the blade, but if you look at the edges of a real Damascus blade, you will see the different layers. And a lot of those companies, for some reason, I don't know, they treat us like we're stupid. They print the Damascus on both sides, but they don't put that print on the spine or the edge or anything. So if you look at the edge of this knife, you can clearly see all of those 200 layers of steel coming together all the way down through the knife. Looks beautiful. So to me, this would definitely be a heavy use, heavy duty, utility field knife. I'm not likely to carry this. I'm likely to leave this as a beautiful collection queen, just because of all the work that went into it and everything. but. We are going to mess with it a little bit today. Just see what we can do with it. Why not? It is going to rain and pour any minute. I'm going to try to get this done beforehand. It's hard to do the paper test with such a giant blade. Ah, oh, man. I just realized I'm not getting any of these paper cuts on camera, am I? Very nice edge. Cord cutting, Whew. super easy. Now you know with an edge like this, we gotta do some chopping. So I just did all of this chopping stuff guys and I realized I forgot to hit record on the camera. So let's do it again so you can see it. Well, I missed the, the cord, but I got the stick. It's a beautiful chopping blade. It really, really is. This blade just just keeps going. What I did before was I chopped up this stick a little bit, and it just takes the wood right off there, man. It just you know you have a, a, a nice weight, and it looks like it would be really front heavy, but it's not. The weight is really well balanced right around there, so as you're chopping, you don't get that heavy like I was expecting kind of that weight to take it through the chop forward that way, it really is a very balanced motion and it doesn't kind of bounce up at you either. When you want to choke up on it, your finger gets held really nicely there 
you've got a great place to rest your thumb for if you want to do some more fine work. I mean, not super fine, but a little bit better control of that blade. You're still cutting your cord pretty easily. Not the cleanest cut, right, as we've been working with this thing, but you're still cutting very, very easily through whatever you got. I have a feeling that this is not going to be too hard to put that razor edge right back on. Just look at that pattern. I love Damascus. It's beautiful, but it's functional too. That's the thing. Everything about it is functional. It doesn't just look good for the sake of looking good. Now, so some downsides of this, some criticism, some commentary. The handle feels good when you're just holding it. As I was chopping though, these edges kind of right here, they put a little bit of pressure on the hand. So what I might do is take the Dremel and just sort of smooth off that edge a little bit, make it more rounded just slightly to give it a little better feel as it's kind of rotating around in the hand a little bit, especially right there. Some major hot spot action going on there. But other than that, it, it does feel pretty good. They've got a lot of other designs, this company. And, you know, once I get situated after the move and I figure out kind of where I am in terms of funding for the channel and everything, and, you know, I don't know, stuff like getting a job now that I'm unemployed, I think I might look into testing out some of their, their other shapes and designs. I hope I get a situation where I find it just to be the, the perfect tool to use. So I really want to use it. But right now I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to oil it down and get it in its beautiful, good smelling leather sheath and put it away for a while. I just love throwing knives into the ground. Thanks guys for watching. This has been cool. Thanks again, Alex. You'll see some more of the cool stuff that Alex has sent my way in some videos in the near future. But in any case, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome as always. We got a five person strong Patreon supporter team right now, by the way. I'll ask you guys again, you know, I understand not everybody can, can jump on that bandwagon and help out, but go to Patreon, check it out. Folks that we have right now on Patreon helping out, they're going to pay for one whole subscription box. Not Battle Box, that's ridiculously expensive, but another one, like another either Alpha Outpost or, or one of the other ones we're looking into. So that's awesome. So you guys are really definitely making the channel happen. If you do have the desire, the ability, please check out Patreon and, and think about that and, you know, join the Anti-Douche Canoe Squad. Anyway, thanks guys. I'll be back again real soon.